ain't nobody got time for that. You know what I mean? It's like three weeks, really. Hi, Bronx. Want to say hi? Hi, Bronxy. Okay. While I lotion myself up. Um, right now it is 327. I know it's like late in the afternoon or mid-afternoon, but, um, we're gonna head out the door now. We woke up probably around 8.45 a.m. ish and then um, just bummed around just doing nothing, like took Bronx out on a walk. Then we um, got some coffee by the coffee stand near us. So now we're actually going to um, go to Lowe's, I think, maybe Home Depot even. Um, and we're going to get a new microwave because our microwave is broken and um, yeah, so we're just going to get a new one and hopefully Edwin can assemble it because he's pretty handy. Um, and the other thing we're going to do is... Hi, Bronx! Oh, he's not happy. Oh, because he knows we are L-E-A-V-I-N-G. Hi! His jowls, usually when he's relaxed, it's like hanging down, which is like the little flap in the front of his mouth. Right now it's like up, tucked under his mouth. So, hi! Um, but anyways, we're going to do that and then Lowe's is having a special apparently where, hi Franks, where they'll send out a person to measure your carpets um, for free. So we're going to do that because we're planning on replacing the carpet. It's definitely going to be pricey because this whole place is, the majority of everything um, is carpet. So like the bedrooms, the closet, um, actually in the closet in the walkway then the living room or not the walkway uh, by the entrance so it's a lot of carpet to replace so we'll see how much that costs Bronx did you just fart I think he let out an airy fart look at him he Opa, he knows he's not very happy hi Bronx he runs out to the door. Oh, your jowls look okay. Not too bad. But look, you, usually his jowls right here are hanging down low when he's relaxed. But right now you can see the black part of his mouth. He's not happy. He's sad. I'm sorry. These have patterns. You got the Do people like it? I don't know. I kind of like this better. Pattern? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like we should do something plain. Just more like this? Yeah. Stainless star. Oh, this is this expensive is nice. though. Is oh, look at that. Oh, because of the. Look how, uh, how many? extensive it is. Yeah. This one's so plush. Oh, take a start out though. Yeah. Oh, see the difference? What's the difference? Okay, feel that? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Soft? Softer. Oh. Softer and hello oh, like I you see. see this. Feels like. You can see the price difference too. We went to um, Trader Joe's, got a whole bunch of groceries. I'll show you guys later when we get home what we bought. And then we stopped by to get Kung Fu tea because we were so thirsty. Um, and it was like right next to Trader Joe's. So now we are going to head home. Happy dance? Hi, Rugs. Hi, Rugsy. He's gonna do a happy dance in a little bit. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Look at him. <laughs> He's so funny. Rugsy, what are you doing? Aww. Oh my, both my shoes are here, babe. <laughs> we came in and both my shoes are over here. He brought it over here to lay on it as a pillow. That's so cute. But look at what else happened. His little uh, dog thing became de decapitated. Look at how freaky it looks. <laughs> it's scary. This um, thing was on the outside and it looks like a little dog, but here it looks creepy. <laughs> he loves. You love? Are you going to run away now? He's like, where should I go? So funny. He said he's gonna save that one for later, I think. Ask daddy for a different one. The sausage one, the different one. You know what else we got? We got another chick for you. Yeah, oh, <laughs> he's so cute. I go, he's so funny. <laughs> he's so cute. Aww. 
Oh yeah. Oh man. Bronx, why you eat it so fast? Eat it Want slowly. Pound it. Yay, yeah, good boy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He hasn't had this treat in a while. It's one of his favorites. It's too expensive though. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, that's really... Yeah, true. Bronx, you're so cute. Okay, Are you one happy more just now? Because. Oh, oh my gosh. One more. Dang, he had like a lot. He's so cute. Found it. Oh. Bronx, are you even chewing? <laughs> He, I feel like he's just biting it off and he's eating it. And I want to do a quick Trader Joe's haul. So we got, let me show you, 19 items. And the most expensive item on the list or thing that we bought was $4.99. And that was for the, let me see. Oh, the Thai shrimp gyoza and the heirloom tomatoes, two pounds. But I'll show you guys what we got. So first thing is this very cherry plum. It must be a new thing and now with like technology and stuff they make crazy fruits so this one is apparently part cherry part plum so half and half which is pretty interesting i feel like it'll be tart but we'll see two pound pack of heirloom tomatoes which i was telling edwin at whole foods i think they charge like 4.99 5.99 a pound so the fact that we got this whole pack with one two three Five heirloom tomatoes for $4.99, I feel like it's a steal. Plain bagels for breakfast. Here we have some creamy tomato basil pasta sauce. Edwin chose this one. It is jerk style plantain chips. I feel like this will be good. Mozzarella cheese, so I'm gonna use this to make tonight's dinner. I'm gonna make a caprese salad. Thai shrimp gyoza, so Edwin actually wanted to go to eat dim sum today, but I'm not that comfortable, honestly, going into restaurants right now. So we opted to have like dim sum at home. Um, so this is gonna be for tomorrow breakfast or maybe lunch. I think lunch. So two bags of these. And then we also got, oh, chicken shumai for dim sum as well. And then we also got the steamed pork and ginger soup dumplings. I think, yeah, two boxes of these. The meatballs, I'll be using this for dinner tonight because um, we're gonna have beef bolognese. Is that how you say it? Bol bolognese. I think it's bolognese. Ravioli. So we got two packs of these. Um, yeah, we might need to cook both actually. I was going to say, I told Edwin that we'll just cook one, but I don't think that this is enough for two. Serving size, one cup. Serving size. Oh, so it is two servings. Mm. Americans are known for overconsumption. Then we have mushroom risotto, orange peach mango juice. Looks really good. I actually saw it in the uh, refrigerator section. I was like, oh, that really sounds good. And then I just passed by because I feel like when we buy juices, they run out. And I'm looking at Edwin. They run out really fast because somebody's got a, a separate stomach for juice and then the last thing i bought which i absolutely love is basil i feel like my favorite herb and this is the herb right i think this is the herb yes yes okay. oh yeah it is potted herb garden okay so my favorite <laughs> my favorite herb is basil like i absolutely love basil the only bad thing is in the condo, like our unit is, is on the back side. So the only time we get sun is when the sun is going, coming up. Coming up. I was going to say going down, coming up. We get it for like 20 minutes, not even. They just end up dying. We try to keep it in here and keep it watered and stuff, but it just, it ends up dying. So it gets sad. It's a lot cheaper than just buying basil on its own, not potted because this was $2.99 and just, Look at how green and luscious it is. Let me show you guys what we got for Bronx. So we love going to Mud Bay, which is like a local, think of it as like a PetSmart, except I think there's probably more food than anything else. I think they have like supplements and some clothes and leashes, but it's mainly, I feel like treats and food. They focus on like natural food. So that's part of the reason why we absolutely love going there. Um, this one is Vita Essentials. Bully stick is freeze dried, does smell bad once it starts getting hydrated with the dog saliva. It smells kind of bad and it gets like very like gooey looking. It's ugh. but he loves it. 
it's fine we can wipe down the couches after he's done not a problem i throw this out then he loves these etta says and these are really expensive for one it's 1.99 i'm a little embarrassed saying that out loud it is what it is all you doggy parents out there i know you know or you feel our pain bronx is like he's our baby so we spoil him not all the time but i mean he gets treats pretty consistently every day a couple times a day anyways he loves these um they have it in chicken and beef as well but pork is the one he seems to like the best so we got like oh we got six, we got six of those then we also got um little biscuits doggy biscuits it's a hit or a miss with him sometimes he wants the biscuit sometimes he doesn't so i just bought a little pack and it's super cheap because they sell it in bulk and you just like put in however much you want and then that's it um they also gave us like little samples which is really nice so this one is a katmandu life essentials salmon so free dried salmon maybe he'll like it maybe he won't he's a picky eater so that's it i just finished cooking some ribeye for bronx i'm gonna have to let it cool down a little bit Why you keep on throwing it up in the air? I think he wants somebody to hold it. Not me. I don't. There he goes. I think he's flinging it up in the air so somebody holds it for him. Fancy dancing. He's grooving to the music. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're so smooth, Bronx. Yeah. You want to pick up some <laughs> Oh, you can try to dab. Okay, thank you for the dance show, Bronx. He's so cute. Okay, guys, I did not get a chance to update you after we came back from Lowe's. You guys would not believe. Number one, I said I was going to take measurements of the um, our microwave because our microwave is not, it's connected to the vent above the um, stove. So it has to fit like directly in between the cabinet. So I was going to take the measurements, totally forgot. Um, realized like after we left the condo, which is fine. But anyways, we found one. All of our um, appliances are appliances are from GE like our refrigerator our microwave our stove top so we want to kind of keep it the same when we went to Lowe's at least the one that we went to there's only one GE microwave so we took a picture of that um, we'll see if that one fits and then the other thing is carpet insulation guys we wanted to have somebody to come out and measure the condo and who knew that it was gonna take three weeks to get somebody here like I ain't nobody got time for that you know what I mean it's like three weeks really and then on top of that it takes time to order like put in your order for the type of carpet you want then on top of that somebody has to come out and install it so I don't know what 
we're looking at i mean i don't know what i was thinking but i was thinking that it was going to be like oh okay within the next couple of days somebody will be out here getting all the measurements for the rooms i was t uh telling edwin how you know if we had a measuring tape measuring ruler whatever you call it then i can draw out the diagram of like the floor plan um and then maybe we can take it to like Lowe's or um, carpet, I think it's called a carpet liquidators or something where we can somehow negotiate the price down because you know the majority of this place is carpet. So I don't know how that's going to work. Oh, you tired? Are you tired? Are you tired? He's so cute. I love you. I love you. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Why, 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 Hey, are you ignoring me? Edwin's taking a shower. I think he's a little worried. Are you gonna take a shower too or no? No. <laughs> he's going to sleep. He said, nope, I'm going to sleep. So cute. Are oh, you so cute? Oh, you go. <laughs> You're so cute, Bronx. Hey, good night, everybody.